Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Enough. And your boy, Stanley. All right, first out the gate, um, thank you all for everyone that was concerned about us on Monday when we didn't do the Tiana and Iman show. Yeah. Look, we were toe up from the floor up. I don't know if we had a taste of food poisoning, whether we had a virus or whatever, but we good now. Yeah, we, we done we bounced good. back. We don't, we went back to work today and all that, so y'all know we good. Yeah. But thank you all for that. I'm just checking on a player. But if you are not a family member, which means that you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free 99. Also, make sure that your bell is pushed in. I don't know why we say that because sometimes the bell works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Hey. It's all the, depending on how YouTube feel that day. Yeah. YouTube has an attitude problem. But go ahead and hit that bell. It'll let you know when we do uploads on this channel. We only upload when, when there's a show. So y'all should be looking out for these. Yeah. Um, and if you already a family member, y'all know what to do. Y'all tell me all the time. We ready. We got our drinks ready. And all of that. So, <laughs> Empire is on one. And I don't even know how to feel about it. Like, how? all I know is, Eddie got to go. Quickly. But on the flip side of all of that, I kind of feel good that somebody finally is giving it to Lucius. That can actually give it to Lucius. And on his level. At, on his level. Yeah. Or even better. Yeah. You got beard oil on, on your face. It, so I don't even know how to feel about it. Like, because I want somebody to knock Lulu upside the head so bad. I mean, why I, not, Eddie? But I, I, think, don't, I don't like that betrayal thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's Eddie's deals. Like, Cookie genuinely went and asked him for help. And now he's trying to take advantage. Yes, I don't And know. he's doing underhand. You know how we about sneakiness and underhand. If you want to do something, come straight up. Yeah. Come yeah. Straight up. So it was called um false face. So we're gonna start off His with face is definitely false. Yeah, so <laughs> we got um Lucius and Thirsty. They basically look because last week Andre laid all the cards out on the table. Hey, take it or leave it, but this is what's happening. This what happened. you know, this is this is what the angle is. That was proven through Eddie's ex-wife as well. Yep. So they'll, they're serving him papers basically saying, okay, these papers, if you sign it, we'll go ahead and dissolve all your ties to Empire, your seat on the board, all that good jazz and whatnot. Eddie looked at them and was like, I'm not fitting to do it. Nope. And the next thing we know, the Lion family actually got this 911 call to head on down to Leviticus because it was some skit going on down there at Leviticus. Well, they all go down there, Leviticus. Um, Lulu got his dang on Moses stick. I don't know what you bought that for, because you basically could have rammed it up your hind pots because they basically walked out of there with your tail tucked between your legs. Sure because no. what Eddie was doing, he was throwing a celebration. Yeah. Because he was able to chart Tiana, number one of the chart, in RB and Pop. And he was a also able to chart Tori, Tori. Ash. Mm -hmm. So now they're having this celebration party. He gonna get on the mic and gonna say, you know, this little bit of time that I've been on at Empire, you know, I've been able to do this, that, and the third. Even the the lion himself couldn't get his cubs to number one like I did. I said, oh, oh, taking shots. So next thing we know, see Lulu don't like he don't like to lose like that. He told Hakeem and him say, hey, y'all need to get y'all skit together. Yeah, we need release some one. stuff, and you need to release it immediately. Looked at Jamal and was like, so what you been doing? He said, so, he forgot. You, uh, you benched me. <laughs> he said, well, consider yourself unbenched. And, and have you been around here just sitting around crying <clears throat> this whole time? Oh, get in there and get some stuff done. And don't be coming up with that old Jamal boo boo. I hate when they do that, Jamal, man. I hate when you do I'm that. I'm not mad this time because Jamal is acting like a pure... Mm, this season. But he my nerves. though. He, he, well, I mean, as a goat would, but... But I'm not gonna. He's trying to do something more. different, man. Everybody and I can got, appreciate that. Everybody got to do something. I can different. appreciate change, man. Yeah. So then we see Cookie. She ends up at this dance studio, and I'm like, okay, ooh. So then I saw Ryan. So I said, okay, because somebody had left a little um, story in my comments, and I went on to the link, and it actually was leaked who Pound Cake's daughter was gonna be. So everybody in the comment section last week was like, it's Tiana. What if it's Becky? And I was like, it ain't none of them. <laughs> so it's Ryan. If y'all ever looked at Lincoln Heights, like everybody else, some of some Michelle A, you know, they know it from the Michelle A story. Cool. She was good in that. Mm -hmm. But Lincoln Heights was the skit. Was the skit, yeah. So when I saw her. Man, when that show went off. 
um, Cookie went over there to the studio to watch her dance. And therefore, after she was finished dancing, she was able to actually have a conversation with her. And she told her, she was like, baby, you a star. You are a born dancer. You know, why aren't you in the lead? Maya told Cookie, well, my instructor said that it has something to do, do with, with the, the lighting, lighting and all of that. And, that, and it's, it's going to fade. The, hold on, wait a minute, what? Booze so basically kid. they said, because you dog. Yeah, and she not even you, dark, yeah, but because you, you black like this, yeah, and they white enough. like this, you can't be the lead. You have to be in the background where the spotlight isn't on you. Cookie was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Listen, I got one better for you. I came down here to invite you to come to um, Empire. I want you to be one of the dancers on Tiana's team for her music video and whatnot. So she's all excited, da 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 And I was like, okay, how Cookie is going to flow this? You know, roll that up into one. Yeah, because Cookie ain't think about how she was going to tell that story because she was out there looking at her. She was like, you know, your mama's in jail, but she, she didn't mean to leave you. It's like, you supposed to have that all together. Yeah, I was like, you yeah, got to be able to flow that jail. Yeah, you got like, to flow it. Like yeah. a goddamn sermon, man. You got to be able to, to hit it home. But you know what I, what I thought she was going to do? I thought she was going to try to trick her. And it going. And going. Me too. But that might have been. That was worse. That, that might have been worse because she might have saw her and went off and made Pam K eat more sick and she might have died instantly on the table yeah. from the stress. So, we're going to fast forward into what had happened. So, she actually told her, said, you know what, meet me at Empire tomorrow at like 2 o'clock and whatnot. So, Ryan, Maya, did that. So, she was up there dancing her tail off. And it was only her and Cookie in the studio at the moment. Tiana walks around the corner. Now, y'all know last week, I didn't say nothing about Tiana because I knew that this week was going to be the week that she was about to get blessed. You know? Tiana comes around that corner. Eddie got her on a high horse that's so goddamn tall, you need a six foot ladder to be able to reach her freaking toes. She would come up on that piece and cut, cut Cookie's music off? Cut the freaking music off I while Maya was lost dancing. Her mind. So, Maya, she was in awe. You know, mm -hmm. she's a fan. So, she goes up to her and was like, You know, oh my God, you know, how, what an honor it would be to dance for you. And she went to, and Tiana was like, is this the new dancer that Eddie hired? Cookie said, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, mm -hmm. boo. She said, Ryan, Maya, I'll get with you in a minute. Um, I don't know what Eddie has been fill filling your head up with, but don't you ever forget. Mm -hmm. They ain't not nail me, except for this big man in here. So don't forget who made you. I mean, she was you. trying to smart talk Cookie. She was like, don't forget who made you. And as yep. quick as we made you, we can unmake you. Yep. So I'm not the one to try. Tiana just standing there looking food. I said, Tiana, see, uh-uh. I can't do you. So Cookie goes out there and she goes to talk to Maya. And she's basically telling Maya, you know, da 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 da. Maya's like, I knew I wouldn't be good enough to do Tiana. And you know, her feelings are hurt. Yeah. That's just like if somebody rolls up, if you roll up on your favorite celebrity and they basically treat you like dirt. I mean, your feelings gonna be hurt for a minute. Yep. And you're like, you don't treat people like that. So then Cookie rolled into, I know your mom. And she was like, huh? You know my mom? Da da da. da. She was the one that encouraged me to dance. She said, no, your no, birth really mother. Mom. So, we now know that Maya does know some background about her mother, but the background that she knows about her mother may be a little tainted as yeah, well. that she got abandoned and... and, and that she gave yeah. her away. Yeah. You know, she was a drug addict and whatnot. And Cookie was like, no, no, she wasn't a drug addict. She was a drug... She sold she drugs. She sold drugs, drugs to try to find to you. To try to find you. So, you know, it's like... It's like this layering, and then you relayer it, then you mm -hmm. peel back the layers, and more layers come forward. And Maya said... I don't want to be happy. She's dead to me. She's dead. The day that she gave me up was the day she was dead to me. And at this point, what can you do? You have to respect this girl's feelings. Her feelings are her feelings. But at the same time, pound cake ain't got time. Yeah. So that's what I was like. I was like, God, doing so how is this going to play out? How is she going to spin that one? So we'll we'll get to that in, in a memorette. I hope she do go see pound cake, though. Because it's, it's a shame how it all went down. Yeah, but, but it speaks a good message, you know, that not every child that was abandoned was was intentional. Yeah, some some and things was because, was forced. And also, just because you want to make it right doesn't mean that the person on the other end is ready to receive that as well. That's right. So, 
you know. Yeah, so she needs to take that home and process all that. Yeah. So like, my birth mom wants to come back in my life. And she's probably, what, 16, 17 now? She's college age, so about yeah. 19. So you're looking at 19 years of indoctrination. What? Indoctrination? I it, yeah, I said it all wrong. Of probably the new mom filtering her head that the old that her real mom ain't skit. Mm. Or so she could have just made up on her own. You know, you get a little bit of the story and your mind just take you all the way left. Trust. When yeah, but that sounds it, like yeah, somebody, somebody telling, us stuff. telling us stuff. Yeah. So then we get to see a glimpse of and I don't know if this is the always if this is the way that we're gonna see Cookie's mom. Now I knew that it was Alfrey. But are we just gonna see her in flashback form? Well, come to find out the reason that Cookie can't stand her mama is because Cookie Mama gave him up to go follow a man. Yeah. But Cookie Sister Carl said, you got the story all wrong. So it all is like going in this circle. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a story about somebody wrong. She said, no, no, no. Daddy threatened to kill Mama if she didn't leave um, us with him. That's not how it went. <laughs> so now we got two kids. Two different stories, both with different relationships with their mom based on the story that they believe. So, we don't know what's true and what's not true. But what I learned out of all of this, Cookie and her mama is really one and the same. Yeah, they are. They're the same. Because when her mama was down at that jail and she was giving it to her yep. about Lucius basically, what kind of man lets his woman yep. take a fall for him when she got kids to raise and now they got to be living with a monster. Now Cook is like, what kind of and mama would he he had the audacity to serve you divorce papers while now you was in here. here. So it was a lot going on. And the whole time I'm sitting there like, all these kids got issues based on the mother freaking lie. Yep. All of them. Yep. Or their version of the truth, whichever one it may be. Because we don't know. Don't know. No. So I'm sitting here like, okay. So we see that the white boy, which I can't remember. Blake? Was it Blake? Blake. Yeah, yeah I think it was Blake. Yeah. He pitched um, Hakeem an idea to have a 90s basement party. You know, that whole um, eight mile style type of, yeah. type of thing. And what they were going to do is um, go ahead and do that. Gain momentum so he can go ahead, go ahead and push his music out so that he can chart number one. Because the whole goal is to knock Tiana out of that number one spot. Mm -hmm. Well, Andre peeks his head down there. Hakeem ain't want to give Andre no time of day. But Andre gave him a brilliant idea. He mm -hmm. said, if you want to have this party, y'all know Extreme is my thing. Let's go ahead and let it, um, let Empire Extreme stream it live. Yep. And everybody that's watching will get a free download. download. Even if it's free, it counts as a sale. Yep. So that way, we'll be able to push you to the number one chart. You know, number one spot on charts. So Hakeem, you know, that's all it took for him to get back. Yep. Oh, bro, you bad. You know, it's good. Okay. So then they have so this part. Andre once again. Andre saves the day once again. After they done skin it on him. Always. About trying to kill the daddy they want did. And he still comes up to rescue them. Yep. So they went ahead and had this party down in the basement. It was pretty cool from what I saw. That I was it. It looked like parties I don't been to. Yeah. You don't one way in, one way out. Some break off up in there. You just gonna have Man, to fight your I way out. I want to go to that party, even though it won't real. I want to go. Just don't go behind. Don't go past them curtains and all of that. Oh, I'm gonna be where everybody can see me now. Yes, God. So they had the party. Everything was litty. Hakeem did his thing, Blake did his thing, and Tiana shows up. Tiana shows up with her girls snooted in a mug, mm -hmm. but Hakeem was able to do eye contact with her, pretty much possess her as he always does, mm -hmm. pull her up on stage, they bumping, grinding, doing what they doing. And the next thing we know, they back there, she, <laughs> she don't got her panties all the way down, back laid down, and she basically getting the stormy treatment from set it off. Huh? What's it gonna be? Uh huh. I said, "Why well, be God doing?" But that didn't last long, cause soon as Hakeem started opening up his mouth and started talking, Tiana quickly clicked back into. Eddie told me. Yeah, every time they Eddie, Eddie told me that the only thing you want me to do is to be, be up on me for you. Da 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 da. He was right. I gotta go. Da da da. And I said, oh my God. Look, you can't see that Eddie only wants you up on me for him? Yeah, <laughs> because you are lining his pockets. Yeah. 
nothing more, nothing less. So now we see that now that everyone, basically everybody that's everybody know what the hell is Eddie is all about. But Cookie is kind of on the out of knowing what she Lucius don't know yet. Is trying to, Lucius is trying to protect her heart. <laughs> Whatever. Except from anybody, yeah. except from him. Yeah, yeah. So Eddie is now trying to get under the y'all know the white lady that always lets everybody hit. Oh, Edna. Edna. <laughs> so now he's up underneath for Edna. Because Edna is on the board. She holds a high position in the board. She can actually sway some things to go Eddie's way. Mm -hmm. So Eddie's trying to basically finesse her. And that didn't last long. Because then all of his ex-wives ended up blowing up the spot. Yep. Causing a scene. And Edna was like, you know what? Now that Lucius is back, maybe you should take some time out and get your personal affairs together. I'm out of here. I ain't got time for this. Next thing we know, there's a bottle of champagne being delivered to Eddie. It was like, oh. From the boss. The boss sent this over here. <laughs> Lucius over in the corner looking like, I got you. See, so he don't sent all the exes over there. Yep. To blow up the spot. So now, Eddie don't have Edna in the corner. Nope. So what does he do? He slithers his way over there to moonshine. Mm -hmm. Get over there to shine. Told shine, said, listen, you good. You 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 own a you you hold a big part in this company. You should be way bigger than what you are. Come over here with me. Back me up on the things that I'm gonna do, and I will make you an empire as well. Just like I did, Lucius. Sean um shook on that and it scared the hell like, out of me. I was like, no, you ain't Sean. I said, you got a good deal, bruh. I said, okay, Andre just basically spared your life, your crew's life. And ended all of this war that was about ready to rain down up upon you. And you gonna do a deal with with this devil? And I said, hold on. You saw that them two were like brothers. So if he's gonna double cross him, you know he's gonna double he cross, gonna double cross, cross you. you. So next thing we know, no people still ain't gonna learn that yet. Mm -mm. Shine told him, see you. You know what? Meet me at the studio, such and such, such and such. I said, oh hell, here we go. He said, because I got a white boy. I want you to take a look at, which would have been Blake. Well, get to the studio. Ain't no white boy there. Sean said, you know what? I got somebody. I, he, he right there. He won't white. But he... He, he, <laughs> he was light. He was light. <laughs> and it was Lucius lying himself. And Sean told Eddie, he said, listen here. I'd rather deal with the devil that, that I, I do know, know than, than the, the devil, devil I, don't I don't know. know. He, he said, that's why I voted for Hillary Clinton. He said, that's why I voted for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I said, why y'all do Hillary like that, though? Why? Mm. Don't do Hillary, Hillary like that. <laughs> but I got you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. So now that leaves Eddie knowing that, hey, Sean ain't on your side. Yeah. And basically he blew up your spot because now he let Lucius know what you were trying, trying to do yeah. with him. Mm -hmm. So now that gives Sean a little bit more clout with um, Lucius. Lucius as well because he was like if anybody had tried to approach you with some skit you gonna bring it back to me that that's some loyalty for that's your loyalty tail. right there so Eddie once again trying to find a way to get done what he needs to get done so what else um what else happened so do, 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 do. hit me thirsty thirsty <laughs> ended up running into Cookie. Cause mm -hmm. Cookie been up and about and she ain't supposed to be. I said, where her bracelet at? Her bracelet ain't telling no more. Lucius ain't trying no He ain't checking that Fitbit app no more. So, ran into Cookie and he slipped up and said, <laughs> that to me, me, me and Lucius gonna kill We gonna kill that. <laughs> she said, hold on. Hold what? He gonna do what? He was like, oh man. So Cookie rose up on Lucius and was like, um, Thirsty told me everything is going. I said, why you snitch? Yeah, why you just I say I found out. Yeah. Oh, I figured it out. Yeah. That you trying to kill Ed. So she took the magazine from the gun because he was loading the magazine up and he he was ready. He was ready <laughs> to go uh -huh. ahead and do I knew thing. that was the next step. He was trying to do everything he could do not to pull that trigger on, on Ed. So but she took the magazine from him and she said, No, I got one better. So the next thing we know, we see Eddie coming over to the house. Cookie said, you know what? He was gonna he was gonna do a fire squad on you, but we family. 
Go ahead and take a seat at the table. He ain't want to do it. Cookie said, listen, take a goddamn seat. <laughs> Basically, she shook him down for everything that he's ever done to every artist that was under him. Yeah. Turning them into a drug, drug addict, basically. Ruining their careers, and when they can't take no more, they actually take commit, their own lives. Yeah, commit suicide. So, she was like, listen, go ahead and sign these papers. Cut your ties with Empire, and we won't expose you. Don't sign, then everything about you is about to be leaked out. to the board. So, have your way. Eddie went ahead and signed them papers. I said, I, but I that said, was too I, but easy. I said he signed it too easy. He was like, mm -hmm. it's like, nope. He got something else up his sleeve. So the next thing we know, he up in there having a conversation with Anika. Nika. Now I will say Anika was looking good. I said that is her look. That got done. Um, what is it like? Um. Smoking them cigars like a like bow. Call them nights. And, I mean, it oh, looked yeah. good. Yeah. With the finger waves, all that. And but she, she dumb. Very dumb. She dumb. She had already got a taste of trying to take them down. Take them not. down. And, and it didn't work. Kid taken away from you. Yeah. So, and you, she was working with that other dude at the other, um, I can't even remember. She was so, working with the Duwaz. She worked, what's, what was the other one? I can't even remember his name. Um, he owned a record company too. Oh, um, the white guy. Yeah, um, try to, try try to, yeah, Beretta tried to work. That didn't work. And now you're going to try to work with Eddie? And they're going to try to go through Bella's stake in the company. Yeah. So, going, so basically they said, we're going to take Empire from underneath of them. And she wanted to be the CEO. You think, do you think he going to let you be the CEO? And then she said, all of this is business, nothing personal. I'm not trying to be wife number four. I hear you. You can't afford... <laughs> So, <laughs> into who? So then we see um, Cookie goes over there to visit Pound Cake, and I was like, okay, maybe she's had a meeting with Maya. Maya came around, and maybe Maya's around the corner. But that's not how it worked out. And I kind of appreciate how this went down because that's real life. Yeah. Pound Cake was like, you know, did you find my daughter? And Cookie said, no. No. But I will still continue to. To try. She couldn't tell the truth though. And Pound started to cry. And Cookie said, you know what? Since I can't find your daughter and I know that I will find her. Go ahead and pour out your heart. And I will write down everything that you say. And I will make sure that your daughter gets basically your last words. Or yeah. your, um, your heartfelt words towards her. And she started doing so. And it kind of panned away from that. So I'm like, okay. Is she gonna give up the ghost right after that, or is she gonna go with a little not, more? Man. I hope that she uh -huh. get the meter though. Yeah, I didn't like pound cake at first, but last week made me have a little soft spot for her. Yeah, you once you find out, like most of the time, people the way they are because of what they went through. Right. So. so when you went through a hard, I had a hard childhood and stuff like that. Some people unfortunately don't get over it. Now I know sometimes when people get older, be like you, you ought to just get past that. But sometimes it's easier said than done. But that whole pound cake situation kind of reminds me of, like, I have conversations with people about this all the time. About when, like, a, if a parent isn't in your life, and then all of a sudden, like, they get sick, or, you know, they're at the age where they get older, then all of a sudden they want to right their wrongs with you. To me, it's not genuine. Because what happened when you were in your prom? Oh, like, I mean, so what do you do when it comes to stuff like that? And like you were saying, that, that wasn't her. That, that wasn't pound cake story. Fortunately, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't her story, but, but she was trying her best to to write her to wrong. find her. I mean, to the point where she outed all of her inmates, you know, the ones that had her back to get out to try to find her. So, and it still didn't work. And it it was it was a pretty much virtually impossible for her to find her. She would have had to talk to Bo to find yeah. out what he sent her to, because he had her buried under politics. Yep, money. Yep, you know. So yeah, she wouldn't have found that baby. Nope. So. It's one of those things, man. It's like, uh, if you do, if you don't. But, yeah, you're right. Most of the time, people, when they wrong, they don't try to wrong. They write until they're on their dead, deathbed, and they want everybody to submit. Yeah. And, unfortunately, it don't to work, make them it don't work that way. All it's feeling some, better. Some people yeah. will give in to the... It's not genuine. Well, we say manipulation. It is manipulation. Make, yeah, give in to the manipulation to, you know... I mean, it's up to the person whether or not they receive it or not. Now, it if, but I, I'm now, not if I was in a situation, I would, if if there's some harbor feelings in my heart that I need to let go, and if I need to go confront them for myself, I would do it, but I wouldn't do it for them. 
Yeah, if that makes I sense. agree with that. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you need to say something so you can let it go. Yeah, because Mo, we had talked about that one time, Mom, about what do you do when the person that you didn't forgive dies hmm. and you never wrong, you never righted the wrong. Yeah, and now you it's too late to it's tell too late, them. Yeah. You tell them, yeah. You know, how do you process that? And I mean, there's all different ways of processing that, you know? Yeah, so some people use a role playing, like you will become the mama that abandoned me, and I tell you, yeah, you know. Yeah, or some people works. say they go to the grave, or some yeah. people say mm -hmm. they go out and just talk about it, and they feel better about it. But yeah. my whole thing is, this is how I live my life. Whatever the fuck I got to tell you, I'm telling you almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And if it ain't immediately, it's because you out of the country at the moment. <laughs> I'm not one of those. I can't people. reach you. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that I can hold on to my feelings very long. I have to let you know how I feel. If it's that heavy, you know, mm -hmm. I'll give myself some time to process it and make sure that it's gonna come out correctly and mm -hmm. you know, not add nothing to, not taking nothing away. But I'm just people that leave leave here. They know how the hell I feel. <laughs> and straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Sue up, sue down. Holla. Holla.